How wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to discuss a somewhat bizarre discovery that was just made in the vicinity of the Milky Way galaxy that essentially presents us with something we've never actually seen before near the Milky Way. The discovery of what's known as a dark galaxy. Literally a galaxy that contains no stars, but is technically still a galaxy because it seems to contain a lot of mass predominantly as dark matter. Or in other words, here researchers literally discovered what seems to be a satellite of the Milky Way galaxy that potentially confirms the existence of dark matter once again and presents us with a really interesting explanation for how galaxies like the Milky Way form. So basically here we have evidence for the galactic formation theories that many different studies often rely on. But even without these confirmations, this is still a really strange and somewhat exciting discovery that in this case was made completely by accident. And that's because originally researchers here were not looking for galaxies and were actually studying something entirely different. They were studying something referred to as HVC, also known as high velocity clouds, which basically represents a very large accumulation of gas, very often moving very fast around the galaxy, most likely formed as a result of the interaction between the Milky Way galaxy and some kind of an ancient galaxy that fell apart, leaving just gas and some stars behind. One of the most known such clouds is what's known as the Large Magellan Extreme that you can learn more about in one of the videos in the description. And in the past, quite a lot of these HVC or high velocity clouds have been discovered around the Milky Way. Basically the result of the history of various collisions between galaxies that left behind nothing but hydrogen. And so by definition these HVCs have to contain a lot of neutral hydrogen but also be moving at relatively fast velocities usually in a different direction from the rotation of the Milky Way. Although in reality, the origin of a lot of them is still unknown. Because in some cases they actually seem to come from the outside of the galaxy and seem to fall into the Milky Way as if they came from somewhere entirely different. Possibly from some other galaxies, like for example from the nearby Large Magellanic Cloud, but possibly from somewhere else entirely. And we've recently discussed one of these bizarre clouds, known as the Smith's Cloud, that seems to be one of the closest such objects and that seems to orbit the Milky Way in such a way that it's actually going to collide with the Milky Way once again, potentially resulting in a new star formation in 30 million years. But because they basically contain mostly gas, tracking their motion and even trying to figure out where they came from is usually not that easy. And while the initial focus of this study was one of these compact gas clumps, HVC AC1 a cloud that was originally detected by radio telescopes, mostly because all of this hydrogen emits what's known as the 21 centimeter line, the hydrogen line, 1.42 gigahertz, that's usually easily visible to most radio telescopes. And so here HVC AC1 was detected to exist at a distance of about 277 kiloparsecs, or about 900,000 light years away from us. So basically this was outside of the Milky Way, but inside the local group. If you look at this map of the local group, you can basically imagine it as being almost halfway between the Milky Way and the Andromeda. But as the researchers conducted additional observations using additional telescopes, specifically the most powerful radio telescope, 500 meter aperture spherical radio telescope in China, they suddenly revealed something really bizarre inside the cloud. There seemed to be an enormous clump inside of it that showed properties of a typical spinning object. And specifically, it showed properties of a rotating disk galaxy with the overall structure resembling a disk galaxy as well. Not a large galaxy, but a galaxy nevertheless. But Hubble Space Telescope detected nothing, essentially confirming that there were no stars and not even molecular clouds that could make new stars in the future, implying that this was a very strange object and an object that was technically hypothetical until recently. This was an extremely rare type of a galaxy known as the dark galaxy. A galaxy containing a lot of gas, specifically neutral hydrogen, maybe a black hole in the center, but also quite a lot of dark matter. Because that's the only way we could explain how such a clump could even form. At the moment there's really no other explanation for what's happening here. And the thing is, up until recently this was a very hypothetical concept, but a very important concept. Mostly because dark galaxies have been proposed to basically exist all over the place and potentially represent very early building blocks of much larger galaxies like the Milky Way. And to be more exact, in the beginning when the universe was basically just gas and a lot of dark matter, some of the initial larger clumps of dark matter started to collect hydrogen and dust around themselves, forming these hypothetical dark galaxies. And so based on a lot of different scientific assumptions and simulations, 
As these dark galaxies started to collide and interact with one another, they started to form larger and larger structures, and in some cases, or actually in most cases, large galaxies like the Milky Way at some point were much much smaller and very likely very bright, which brought a lot of gas and a lot of dark matter into them and eventually formed even more stars in the process. And so basically, in a lot of modern theories of galactic formation, these much smaller dark galaxies containing no stars and mostly just hydrogen and dark matter serve as a very important building block for many different modern galaxies. In other words, they represent a kind of a galactic precursor. But this was super hypothetical for many many decades because they were just so difficult to confirm and to discover. Obviously because they have no stars and only contain gas in an extremely thick clump that would be very difficult to discover. But not as difficult anymore because of powerful radio telescopes we have today. And in the last decade or so, there's actually been quite a few potential candidates. As a matter of fact, the previously mentioned Smith's cloud is maybe one of them. Because this very strange cloud seems to orbit the Milky Way without falling apart. This would be very difficult to explain if this was just a gas cloud, but a lot easier to explain if this is technically a dark galaxy as well. You can actually learn about Smith's cloud in more detail in that previous video in the description. But we actually do have some other examples. Here's one from 2023. An unusual galaxy discovered by the FAST telescope once again, approximately 94 million light years away from us. This time, once again, an isolated dwarf galaxy that can only be explained as a dark galaxy because it seems to contain no other emissions. With one of the stranger recent discoveries being this. This was discovered completely by accident when researchers using the Green Bank Observatory pointed the telescope in a completely wrong location by mistake. We will also discuss this galaxy in the recent video in the description, but here this was basically, once again, a clump of gas. It's only visualized here as a rainbow because this shows us the motion of the gas. Basically here is once again hydrogen gas spinning as if it's a disk galaxy. With one of the most exciting discoveries in the last two years being the galaxy you see right here, now referred to as Nube. Spanish for cloud. This was found in 2023, and this one is kind of exciting because it's not a true dark galaxy, but is an almost dark galaxy. It seems to contain some stars, but also contains a huge amount of dark matter. But a lot of these objects were kind of far away. Previously, except for the Smith's cloud, there was only one other object located close to Andromeda that was believed to be a dark galaxy. It's an object that's basically right here, but is obviously invisible because it contains no stars. HVC 127-41-330 seems to be located between Andromeda and the Triangulum Galaxy, once again inside the local group. This was analyzed back in 2006, and it's now almost certainly believed to be a dark galaxy as well. But the evidence here is much much stronger. As a matter of fact, this is extremely difficult to explain if this is not a dark galaxy. Just because the clump here is so thick and so massive, that if it wasn't for dark matter keeping it together and making it circulate, it should have already fallen apart long long time ago. And so here we have evidence for a fast moving cloud of gas, mostly made out of dark matter, with a really large chunk inside of it that shows all of the properties of a typical rotating disk galaxy. And here researchers did everything they could to confirm that this is real and to even confirm that this was really far away. For example, they looked at some of the most distant stars in this location, with one specific star at a distance of 32,000 light years away from us, in the same location as this cloud, confirming that this star is definitely in front of the object and this dark galaxy is very far away. And that's because the light from this star did not contain any absorption inside its optical spectrum. On top of this, the object was confirmed to be more or less spherical, with a hollow on one side and an unusual tail on the other. This is probably the result of some kind of a tidal interaction in the past. But based on the rotation curves, this object has to contain a lot of dark matter. That once again presents us with extremely strong evidence for the existence of dark matter as possibly some kind of a particle. Or some kind of an effect that prevents this hydrogen from flying away. And though in the past a lot of other dark galaxies turn out to be just gas clouds, and often tidal gas clouds, the result of galactic interaction and tidal effects, and this is something we see around many different galaxies out there. Unlike these tidal clouds or stellar streams, here we had something that definitely qualifies as a dark galaxy. But its actual size and even its actual mass would be kind of difficult to determine. Mostly because once again it just doesn't contain any stars and so using normal telescopes or even using telescopes like the James Webb would be impossible here because as you can see from this image, it would just see nothing. 
And so even its exact composition is currently unknown. And so right now the only thing that's certain is that this contains hydrogen, it seems to contain dust, and something keeping everything together. So possibly dark matter. But because this is such an important discovery for modern galactic formation theories, and also because this is so close to the Milky Way, chances are we're going to be hearing more about this discovery in some of the future studies. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about science, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.